convenience and comfort of passengers. Aviation sector. The aviation sector has been galvanized in the past 10 years. Number of airports have doubled to 149. Rollout of air connectivity to tier 2 and tier 3 cities under Wudan scheme has been widespread. 517 new routes are carrying 1.3 crore passengers. Indian carriers. Indian carriers have proactively placed orders for over 1,000 new aircrafts. Expansion of existing airports and development of new airports will continue expeditiously. Metro and Namo Bharat. We have a fast expanding middle class and rapid urbanization is taking place. Metro Rail and Namo Bharat can be the catalyst for the required urban transformation. Expansion of these systems will be supported in large cities focusing on transit-oriented development. Green energy. Towards meeting our commitment for net zero by 2070, the following measures will be taken. Viability gap funding will be provided for harnessing offshore wind energy, for harnessing offshore wind energy potential for initial capacity of one gigawatt. Coal gasification and liquefaction capacity of 100 metric tons will be set up by 2030. This will also help in reducing imports of natural gas, methanol, and ammonia. Faced mandatory blending of compressed biogas in compressed natural gas for transport and piped natural gas for domestic purposes will be mandated. Financial assistance will be provided for procurement of biomass aggregation machinery to support collection. Electric vehicle ecosystem. Our government will expand this and strengthen the e-vehicle ecosystem by supporting manufacturing and charging infrastructure. Greater adoption of e-buses for public transport networks will be encouraged through payment security mechanism. Biomanufacturing and biofoundry. For promoting green growth, a new scheme of biomanufacturing and biofoundry will be launched. This will provide environment-friendly alternatives such as biodegradable polymers, bioplastics, biopharmaceuticals, and bioagri inputs. This scheme will also help in transforming today's consumptive manufacturing paradigm to the one based on regenerative principles. Blue Economy 2.0. For promoting climate resilient activities for Blue Economy 2.0, a scheme for restoration and adaptation measures and coastal aquaculture and mariculture with integrated and multi-sectoral approach will be launched. Comprehensive development of tourist centers. The success of organizing G20 meetings in 60 places presented diversity of India to global audience. Our economic strength has made the country an attractive destination for business and conference tourism. Our middle class also now aspires to travel and explore. Tourism, including spiritual tourism, has tremendous opportunities for local entrepreneurship. States will be encouraged to take up comprehensive development of iconic tourist centers, branding and marketing them at global scale. A framework for rating of the centers based on quality of facilities and services will be established. 
जदि आपंक आम भिडी भल लगला तेब चेल्क लाइक सेयार और सब्सक्राइब करने को जमा भी भूलु